Hey guys, Jason Orban here with GHL Smart Scripts. I've got something really cool that I want to share with you guys today. This is uh, something we've been working on for a little while. We built it for another system and then I thought, you know what? I think this is too good not to share with everyone. So where we originally started out with this was we built a subdomain, um, automated sub subdomain creation thing <laughs> that you can add to a form that we're using for one of the accounts that we're working with one of our clients and the idea behind that was that as you're filling out a form or an onboarding form or something like that you could come in here and the client could type in what they want to use for their subdomain uh say for onboarding and stuff like that and then they could check to see if that subdomain was available and actually if they don't fill it out um, it doesn't allow them to submit the form. So what we ended up doing was, let's say Jason Orban, let's check that right there. We, we created a system that checks Cloudflare to see if the subdomain is available for the domain that we're working with. Um, and then it gives them either it's available or it's not available. And if it's not available, then they can't submit. But if it is available, then they are allowed to submit the form, right? So this made it so that when we're creating our accounts or onboarding our clients, what we don't have to try and guess what a good subdomain to be for them. Um, we can allow them to pick. We don't want to have to go back and change things afterwards. Um, and then we also don't have to ask clients for their, their domain information, the registrar information, uh, if we're not using their actual domain for their account. Because one of the things you probably know if you've been working in this industry long enough is that um, trying to get the registration information from clients for their domain, get access to their registrar can be quite a pain. I mean, so if you're asking for somebody, hey, can you send me the login information for your registrar? Can you pass that over? Um, they'll send you the login to their, their WordPress website, or they'll send you the login to their Wix website. Or here's the, uh, and and on, the, on top of that is you never know where the registrar is going to be. Sometimes it's GoDaddy, sometimes it's some kind of third party thing. Sometimes it's like a little web host somewhere and you have to try and navigate through all that. It just takes more and more time, right? So what we found is if we can just automate that process and we just give them a nice, nice and tidy little subdomain that they can use for their account, whether they're sending out reviews or their referrals or they're, you know, just using the system in general for their funnels and stuff, we can create that for them, set them up, everyone's happy, right? And we don't have to spend days trying to get this information. So after we built that form, what we did was we said, I said, hey, okay, well, how are we going to make this a lot easier for people in the back end? Let's say they don't have a form, they're not using a form, they just want to create subdomains really quickly for uh, for their subdomain man uh, for, for, through Cloudflare for their DHL accounts. So we ended up coming up with this. And what this does is it allows you to import your domains from Cloudflare, get access to those, and then be able to pick which domain you want to create a subdomain for, go into high level, ask high level, say, hey, I wanna create one for a regular JHL account, one of the new faster funnels, things they came up with the other day, or a JHL membership, put in the subdomain that we want, uh, new awesome, let's see. It's gonna see if that is available. And then if it is available, we can create the subdomain. Okay, and then we can just copy and paste this into our high level account under whichever account we need to add it to. Let's just go open this up. Wait for that to load. Yeah, okay, let's just say here, for example, let's switch to this account. We're gonna go into domains as soon as we get a chance here. Move my photo over here. Let's see here. So uh, here we're in there. Let's go settings, domains, and then we can add new domain. I mean, that took a little, it took longer for the page to load than it took us to create the, the new uh, subdomain. Let's, oh, sorry, you know what? Uh, I ended up creating a subdomain for memberships, which is kind of a pain. <laughs> I created the wrong, so I, I created the wrong subdomain in here. Let's just go back right here. So I created a membership one. So if we if we looked out uh, looked at awesome here, um, where where is it here? 
do 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 new awesome here it's, it's a preview about memberships that's not the one that we want to create if we're just doing a regular ghl account so let's go new uh 10 10. i'm gonna check to see if that's available create subdomain here we're gonna see new 10 10 is gonna show up uh right here uh, it's also gonna tell us it right here we can come up here and add in that that subdomain there and it's going to say awesome okay you know what it's it's there so i mean that that was the thing we created it so that we could add it into memberships you could create it into you could do the new faster funnels one or you could do um just for the regular old ghl uh subdomains that you would normally do and then uh you know once we shared this around we had a couple of people say hey what would be really cool and actually creating subdomains is awesome but what would really save me a ton of time is if you can actually automate the creation of mailgun accounts because that is another 20 minutes of my setup um that is just wasting away my days right so you got 10 accounts set up that's 20 that's like 200 minutes that's you know you're, you're spending a few hours setting up just subdomains or setting up subdomains and and mailgun accounts for these clients which is not ideal and nobody wants to be doing that so what we did here too is now if you create a subdomain you can also set up the mailgun account for for that account so what it's going to do is it's going to go in it's going to create the account in mailgun it's going to set up all the, the domain information that you need for Mailgun, all the DNS entries. And then it's also going to add DMARC. DMARC is an extra thing that we added in there because it actually really helps with um, not just the onboarding, but making sure the, the security for your domain. So it makes sure that when you get that set up, that you're you're more likely that your all your your emails are going to end up, you know, in the inbox rather than in the junk folder, right? Um, DMARC is just the thing that we found that really adds, really helps with our clients. But I mean, it's an extra step that you have to add in and you actually have to usually have to go to a DMARC builder, build a DMARC and then copy and paste that and put that into your DNS entries. Um, with this, we just added it in there because I know it's going to help you out. Um, so it automatically creates those DMARC entries for you. So now you can come in here you can create your subdomain you can go in um you can create your your mailgun account for that subdomain again i'll just i'll just reiterate why we did the mailgun part the mailgun part it was created was was because if you have all your clients on one single mailgun account and you don't have that separated into subdomains if you have a client that says hey i'm going to send out five thousand emails today um and just start spamming cold emails because i bought this list for five bucks off of off of fiverr um and that um that flags your account as spam that means everybody in your system who's using that mailgun account um is going to get flagged as spam because they're using that domain they're using that um your your account with that ip address and everything right but if you can go in and create subdomains for each one of these uh email accounts for email accounts for each one of your subdomains then they're kind of segmented off into their own little thing it's not going to necessarily affect your entire account in all your accounts because you've now created their own mailgun account inside of there now we have training on how to set this up how to get everything rolling how to set up the onboarding form how to do all that inside of our membership training um, so you're going to get access to that um, and plus you're going to get access to this so if you're interested in something like this you want to check it out message me uh, i'm going to post a link of where you can pick this thing up it's cheap it's 12 bucks a month um, and then you can uh, get going with that so uh, look forward to seeing you guys with it if you have any questions obviously reach out post below and um, exa excited to see how this thing goes all right talk to you soon